name is Sarah Floyd. I'm going into second year of the Physician Assistant Program at McMaster University, and I'm previously a registered massage therapist as well as certified in phlebotomy. Oh, I didn't know about the phlebotomy part. Yeah, That's awesome. I did that back in 2016. Uh, my company that I worked with before decided to uh, pay for it, and I did the schooling over the online Michener. Uh, program, and then I was able to take their practical component after that, and then I practiced for like a year, and then I wound up in PA school, so oh, didn't good. continue anymore. <laughs> awesome. Um, so can you tell us uh, a little bit about your journey starting from undergrad? Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to pull you back even a little bit further before undergrad because that's when I started the massage therapy. Mm -hmm. So out of high school, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. University kind of intimidated me. Um, so I was really interested in doing something a little bit more hands-on. I went away, did an abroad program first, and when I came back, I decided that's when I was going to apply for the massage therapy program. At the time, the uh, sort of local community programs like Centennial and those things didn't exist so uh, I didn't take the time to look into that. I did a private college. It was the Canadian College of Massage and Hydrotherapy. Very pleased that I did that. I not only learned the basics of massage um, and like the practice of that but I also learned hydrotherapy which has been a great addition. It's more like the water therapy so ice, cold, Epsom salts, um, paraffin waxes, uh, People think maybe a little bit more spa treatment, but has an absolute therapeutic role as well. Um, so following that, I worked about two years and decided that if I didn't go back to school, I probably wouldn't. I was really enjoying massage, but I, I was looking for that further stimulation. Um, and the scope of massage therapy is very different than what it is in medicine, and I, I did crave something a little bit um, broader in terms of the scope of practice. So I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Guelph Humber. I did an honors bachelor of applied science, it's a mouthful, um, in kinesiology. And concurrently I completed a diploma in fitness and health promotion. So essentially it was like personal training. I get the claim to fame of saying that I got to uh, learn how to deadlift in university. So that's pretty fun. Um, but otherwise, you know, the fitness was great and it's helped me in my extracurricular life, but uh, truly not uh, something that I used for my profession. But I did like the health promotion. So that's where I began to find um, educating patients and at being an advocate for their health and empowering them to improve their own health and, and sort of seize the day is a big part of what inspired me. Fast forward. We uh, get to the company that I worked with that I told you about the phlebotomy. So I had graduated from university at this point. Um, I had done some research with the firefighter health and wellness program because I said that I was so interested in that um, health uh, promotion component of my, my program. And at that point was working in an integrative medicine clinic and um, doing the phlebotomy as well as doing this research. While two years in working, um, I decided that that's the time to apply for PA school, so I did. Um, and I applied once, and fortunately I did not get in, so we can talk a little bit about that, since I'm sure there's maybe one or two people who had that experience as well, um, or some people who haven't gotten in who are really looking for that little bit of extra sort of inspiration. Hopefully you can relate to this, because um, it, it is a tough thing to experience, but I did apply again uh, in the second year. And I did get in, and I'm so grateful I have made this decision. People have asked me now that the first year's done what I've really thought about the program. I've had a year to take it in, and that's the one thing I say is I, I'm so happy I made the bold decision to switch careers and go back to school, especially sort of being a little bit older than my peers. It's, it's something that I weighed in on leaving another career that was stable for something that was very unknown and I yeah no no regrets and can you tell me a little bit about how you heard about the PA profession yeah that was through the health and wellness research project with the firefighters so it was we went in and we 
evaluated not only like the fitness of the physical fitness of each firefighter, obviously they need to be um, at a certain level to be able to go fight fires and um, still protect themselves while protecting the public. And the idea is um, a physician assistant would come in and do all of the physical exams and make sure that on an occupational level they were prepared to be able to do their job. And so I watched them, I mean, obviously not in the room, but I watched them take each patient in um, and they would complete their health history, their physical exam. And being the one who did all the administrative work, I did see the paperwork and I, I realized how in depth they were going with this medical review and I thought that's something I would really like to be a part of and I would like to provide that level of care, not only to people who protect the public, but to the public. Mm-hmm. And were you contemplating other careers at the time as well? Absolutely. I think we all sort of go through that. I think that's one of maybe the most relatable things. I, from the most early age, can remember playing Barbies and like um, they were all doctors. So, you know, everything went through my mind from being a physician to with my background in allied healthcare, especially going into chiropractic or physio osteo, um, which is osteopathy for people who are not familiar, naturopathic medicine, occupational therapy, you sort of name it, I looked at it. It took a long time. It took a really long time to see what spoke to me and sort of what I resonated with. And to be honest, I didn't want to do anything more allied health. I would sort of been there, could appreciate it, and could appreciate that I was ready for a change. So it was going to be something in medicine, and when I learned about this wonderful career in the research uh, field, I was like a steam engine, you know, really couldn't hold me back. So how would you say that your previous experience helped distinguish you uh, as being a little bit more competitive or a little bit more unique? Um, You know, I read once about a massage therapist who became a PA, Um, only once, of course. It was a U of T graduate, and he was working up north, and I thought, could a second person do that? Like, could, an, like, could a second person in allied health, like massage therapy, jump? Because the switch is actually quite large. I thought what I knew from massage therapy school would actually lend to my knowledge in uh, the physician assistant program, but it didn't. It didn't. It did for one section, and I was really surprised by that. You don't realize how specialized your knowledge is until you put it in the broad perspective of learning to be a generalist. I think it helped me for the interview. You know, I'm used to talking to people day in, day out, different people, you know, from all walks of life, from children, often child athletes um, who are coming for massage therapy. But, you know, even when I did phlebotomy for the integrative medicine clinic, you know, we were seeing patients that were sometimes well, sometimes very unwell, sometimes coming from remote areas of the province. Um, I once averaged out my patient population for massage therapy just because I like to do this sort of thing, and it was 43. At the time, I was 20 in my early 20s. It gives me the confidence to be able to talk to people from sort of any context and in any situation, but it's also just, I think, part of my nature. My grandmother would always say, you know, we'd, we'd walk, or part of me, we'd stand in her elevator and we'd go up all the flights with people, and she'd say something like, oh, don't worry, this girl talks to the wall even, when I talk the ear off of the person who's trapped in the elevator with me. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) yeah. Was it intimidating, this idea of going back to school after having had work experience? (gasps) Absolutely not, I was so excited. Mm -hmm. You know, I was actually more nervous to go to university the first time, when I was going to my undergraduate degree, having switched from being in college, taking the two years off, and then going to undergrad. But coming to to the physician assistant program, I was so excited. I was so elated to be in such an elite program with so many like-minded people. I maybe am an outlier in that regard, but I was thrilled. And how do you find uh, getting along with classmates that might be a little bit younger or might not have as much life experience as you? Sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, who's what age. They really are a mature group. I'm very fortunate that everybody has been welcoming and encouraging. There hasn't been any animosity. There's been quite a sense of community, and I think we're all really lucky, and we've we've fostered that amongst ourselves as a group. You know, it's sometimes easy to get competitive, 
the physician assistant program at McMaster anyways, has really, I think, done a commendable job of trying to eliminate that um, and build this sense of, aside from community, this knowledge sharing bank um, where everybody wants to come and, and improve not only their knowledge, but the knowledge of their peers. Because, you know, we're a small profession and as good as you look, as good as the next person looks, you just continue to grow and you grow this profession. I just wanted to thank you, Anne, for having me um, on your series here. It's been a privilege and an honor, and I appreciate everything that you do for our community and everything that you've done for me, even in my first year so far. Awesome, thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs>